more white man lives. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to have you around once more. All oh, praises. I'm so glad to be here. I'm honored to be on your show. I love uh, it. Okay. So, uh, just go ahead and introduce yourself for the bit of a doubt. So, cause some people just listening to you. And the last week you were here, and a lot of people, they keep asking, uh, when the picture is coming on? And then we show them that uh, you want to be on, hopefully, by 10 o'clock. However, it's good that you're around. So, just go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, well, I'm Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Uh, my website for your listeners is www.israelunite.org. And what we teach is that the blacks of Liberia and those that went into slavery throughout North Central South America, the Caribbean, and many other places make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Uh, we are not American. We are not African. We are the biblical Israelites the Bible speaks of. And the reason we suffer as a people is because we broke God's commandments. And we continue to break God's commandments even until this day. So this is why we as a people suffer and there's no unity amongst our race. Okay? Okay. So uh, what are we going to be looking at this evening? Uh, well, again, I do want to touch back on some of the color scriptures, because I know it's new for many of your listeners who have been brainwashed by the so-called white man, who is the biblical Edomites. He comes from Esau. He is the wicked the Bible speaks of, and he has destroyed our people and taught our people lies that God is white, Jesus Christ is white, and the Israelites are white, the Jews are white. All of those things are lies according to the Bible. Okay. okay. So, for example, for example, for example, um, when you go to the Song of Solomon, King Solomon, which is the uh, son of King King David, okay. When we go to the Song of Solomon and we read chapter one and verse one, it says the Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Now. When we when we jump down to verse 5, Solomon says, I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. So Solomon is telling you and I that he is a black man. Yeah. But on television and in our churches, they portray him as a white man. Okay? That is a lie. So Jesus Christ came from the lineage of David and Solomon. Now, many people are confused about the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay? Watch this, watch this. Uh, in the book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 29 and 30, I'm going to show you the birth of Jesus Christ because many people, the white man taught us Jesus Christ had no father. No earthly father. Watch what it says in Acts 2, verse 29 and 30. It says, Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, According to the flesh. Okay, it says, I'm going to read verse 30 again. Yeah. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, 
He would raise up Christ to sit on the throne. So what does it mean when it says the fruit of his loins? The fruit of your loins is the sperm that comes from your penis. That's what it means by fruit of his loins. Okay? It said according to the flesh. So letting you know Christ is of the flesh, the lineage of David, according to the flesh. You understand? So it's not a spiritual thought. It's not an angel came down and made Mary pregnant. Jesus Christ is of the fruit of the loins of David. Okay? Now, let's read some more. Watch this. I'll read Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. Romans chapter 1 verse 3. Yes, Romans chapter 1 verse 3. It says, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. The word seed, DJ, means sperm. 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 Yeah. So people, the white man taught us to read this and disregard it. And said, no, 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 no. Jesus Christ did not have an earthly father. But he did. Now I'm going to go to another scripture. The book of John. Chapter 1 and verse 45. It reads, Philip findeth Nathanael, and saith unto him, We have found him, of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. You hear what it says? Yeah. It says the son of Joseph. Yeah. People will read that and go, no, 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 disregard that. Cross that out of the Bible. Everybody knew that Christ was the physical son of Joseph. But, remember, he's also the son of God. Sure. Okay? Just like you, just like me. This is what many people need to understand. Okay? So now, watch this. Uh, when you read, I'm going to get the scripture in a second. When you read the book of Matthew, right? Watch this. It's going to shock you. Okay. When you go to the book of, uh, let me see. Bear with me. Mm. I'll go to Luke. I like Luke. Luke 12. Luke 12. And verse 8. It says, Also I say unto you, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. Why did Christ call himself the Son of Man? Because he was born of man. He came from the seed, which is the sperm that descend from David all the way through Solomon to Joseph. This is what many people reject because of white supremacy. Okay? This is what's been happening in the world. And we as a people must become born again. Okay? Now, Watch this. Have you ever heard of the book called the Apocrypha? No. Okay. Okay. When you read, um, I'll give you an example. Go to the book of John chapter 10 and verse 22. John 10 verse 22. Yes. John chapter 10 verse 22. Okay, let me find my King James Version Bible. John 10 verse 22. Just hold on a second. Okay. John 10 verse 22. Okay, I'm there. Okay. It says, and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. Yeah. And it was winter. Yeah. Most people don't know what that feast is talking about. That feast that Jesus Christ kept is written in the book of Maccabees that was removed in the early 1700s. Okay? Um, In the book of Maccabees, it tells you about the temple uh, being raised up again by a man called Judah Maccabee. And it was a holiday they established called the Feast of Dedication. Okay? Now, let me ask you this, DJ. In the Liberia, do you celebrate Christmas? 100%. 
Okay. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10. Okay. And then 10 verse. Okay. I'll start at verse 1. Okay. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. The word heathen means nations. The word heathen means nations. Okay. okay? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. The word vain means lies. For the, I'll read it again. For the customs of the people are lies. That's what I mean by vain. vain. Okay. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moves not. So let me ask you a question. It says, don't learn the customs of the heathen. For one cuts a tree out of the forest, and they deck it, meaning decorate it, with silver and gold. What holiday is that? I don't know. Bisha, you tell me. Holiday you don't know what holiday people set up a tree and decorate oh, okay. silver oh, you, 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 you you talking about Christmas now. It's, oh. it's, it's Christmas. That's what it's talking about, DJ. Okay. That is exactly. That holiday is an ancient Babylonian holiday. Okay? Here in Jeremiah, God says, don't learn that custom where one cuts a tree down and they deck it with silver and gold. So I'll read it again. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it, meaning decorate it, with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not, because back then they used a palm tree. Here in America, the custom is to use an evergreen tree. But it is the same evil custom. Now the white man has taught us that symbolizes the birth of Jesus. It does not symbolize the birth of Jesus. This custom is an evil custom. It has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus at all. Okay. So I want all your listeners to listen good and meditate and write down Jeremiah 10, 1 through 5. It tells you not to celebrate the custom where you cut a tree down and deck it with silver and gold. So that is an evil custom. So Bishop, you don't celebrate Christmas? Never. It's not in the Bible to do so. Okay. Ask your Christian ministers in Liberia, where is Christmas written to be the birth of Jesus in the Bible? Let's read, show us the scripture, minister. You Christian ministers, prove your cause. You will find out, DJ, it is not in the Bible. Okay. The white man has lied to us from the time of slavery. And it is customary that when the white man tells a lie, we believe him without question. Whatever he says, we believe. Okay? Now, when do you read anything, I'm going to show you, about the birth of Jesus? Go to the book of Luke. Luke, Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. And we'll read verse 41 and 42. Luke chapter 2, Luke chapter 2, verse 41, eh? Yes. Just a minute, just a minute. You know, whenever you're on the radio, then you mean I have to go for Bible school. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You in verse 41, 41? 41, okay, okay, let me go there. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. Go ahead. Yeah, 42. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. So, we were always meant to keep the Passover, but we've never been taught where is Passover and what is it? Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse 17. The same Leviticus? Yes. Verse 17. Okay, I'm there. Read. You shall break up on the habitations to wave most of two things. They shall be of fine flavor. Color. 
you have to try it, and they shall be baking with these. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven? Eleven. 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 Eleven.
traditions of men. What traditions of what man do we follow, DJ? We follow the traditions of the white man. That's who we've been following. It says, after the rulers of the world and not after Christ. Because none of those holidays you mentioned are based upon Christ. Thank you. 
Jesus. Well, I'm going to say, yes, they need to celebrate Jesus. Well, I'm going to be taking over the celebrate at a time. That was the agitation of what done. If we celebrate Christmas, I'm going to be teaching you that we are celebrating for a time. So, I'm going to be taking over the time. You know, they have a problem with the story. They have a problem with the agitation that we celebrate Christmas with. What happened in the past? Okay, listen, listen, I, 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 I guess I'm disappointed with the following the program. He said mm -hmm. that the press will never go in December. And then, yeah. Yeah, and I think you, I think you listen to him. And then, uh, if maybe, you know, from Sunday school days, what we learned, what our parents sort of still going ahead. Right? So he said yeah. that when you go to the Bible, that special day that was mentioned, that like the Passover, we should go, we I just hear about the Passover, we don't celebrate the Passover here. You must have know that every Christmas, every December 25th, we celebrate the birth of Christ. But now he came to tell us that it was not true. So, I think uh, you, you say you are grooving, so I, I don't think that uh, uh, you have to leave that space open. Uh, what are you going to stay celebrating or not? You definitely. Uh, I said, I agree that it is not written by taking time yeah. as to when Jesus Christ was born. Why? Because the white man said don't do it, 
so other people don't do it. Our people have to realize the white man is not God. He set himself up as God, but he is not God. Uh, he is the devil. The Bible speaks of that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the four lines. More people want to be part of this program here. Uh, you know, whenever you're on the radio, I have to go to Sunday school. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's join the person. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello. tell us your name and where you calling from, please. Yeah, um, my name is Muhammad Sarai, calling from the radio station today. Okay, Mr. Tura, you, you do not interrupt me. Go ahead, my brother. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you see, um, I'm a Muslim, actually, and I, I have a problem with some of these things because um, we are so in the past as a Muslim, we are so some of these things. Because sometimes when we start to say uh, our Christian uh, counterpart, our Muslim brother, they call us Indian, they call us uh, Hira. In the case of the world, I'm so wrong. We celebrate and we are ambassadors to go ahead and go But the idea is that uh, when um, I will say to Christians that uh, we love that and we believe in Christ, but the part of the matter is that we should believe it after our belief. And in the practice that Christ that we follow, we should always follow what we practice, how we live, and what we ever see with God to not the teaching of men. Because others will be part of this thing when they do the power to see the reference. I don't know if people carry the power or not, if people carry the power to carry the power. So, um, go directly now. Let me hear your point. I want you to be a sign. So, in, in essence, what you're trying to say? Uh, I do agree with the very. Okay, thank you. I, I do agree with the very. Thank you. Yes, I think that's the issue. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Mr. Turo. It, it, it was nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello? Yes. Okay, so uh, just go ahead because we have uh, roughly uh, four minutes, so if you just go ahead and then conclude. Okay, so now, for your listeners, when we go to First Kings, watch this. The book of First Kings, the book of First Kings. Yes, um, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. Go ahead. Now, I want everyone to listen, but this is going to further prove that we are the Israelites. Okay. First Kings chapter eight and verse forty-six. It says, "If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy." Far or near, meaning far or near to Jerusalem. Yeah. The people of Liberia were carried away captive in the 1800s, 1700s. Then America brought to, to Liberia back in 1822. You familiar with that? Sure. I'm going to read it again. Yeah, go ahead. If they sin against thee, for there's no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, because God was angry with you and I, and, and deliver them to the enemy. The enemy is the white man. Were we at one time delivered into his hands? Yes. It's called slavery. So that they carry them away captive. We were carried away captive into slavery by the white man. It says, unto the land of the enemy. So I'm here in America. This is the land of the enemy. Liberia was given the name by the white man. Okay? That's where it comes from. America set you up as a, what do they call you over there? A, are you called a satellite or a territory? Okay? So now, watch this, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, meaning remember who you are, in the land where you were carried away captive and repent, meaning you're going to ask the Lord for mercy. Yeah. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and we have done perversely, we have committed wickedness. This is what God wants to hear come out of your mouth. That you and I, as the Israelites, sin. This is why our ancestors went into slavery. We were mentally destroyed, spiritually destroyed, divided as a race into different quadrants. Like, you're in Liberia. Our people over here in North America. Some of us are in Jamaica. 
Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.